Ni hao, I'm Lizzie, and today I'm going to share with you 10 reasons why I love China. So the first reason definitely has to be the people. I think whether you are alone or not, you know, people really have an impact on whether you like the country. And I think Chinese people really are the friendliest people I've ever met. Like, even though I don't understand the language, they always help you when you get lost, or especially in hospitals. Like, they really never lose patience with you. And I think that says a lot about the people here. To be honest, you get a feeling that they really kind of feel honored to help a foreigner. And I do have to say, the one thing when I came to China is, when you stop at a robot or you're on an e-bike and people see that you're a foreigner, they stare. Like, you are going to feel famous, which is pretty cool at the beginning. Uh, especially kids, they will point at you, but it's pretty funny. Just say hello to them. So yeah, definitely Chinese people are amazing and they do have a big impact on why I love China. Chinese people are known to be called the sleeping dragon because on the surface they're really known to be quiet and unassuming. Yet inside they're burning with passion and determination. My next reason definitely has to be Kunming. The city of eternal spring. This city is considered not that big, but it has 8.4 million people living here. It still blows my mind. How is that possible that it's not considered that big? Anyway, the air here is so clean. The skies look like this every day. Yo, I'm not joking, really. It is beautiful to just take a walk. It's never that hot, never that cold. I honestly don't think I'll ever move to a different city in China. Yeah, Kunming definitely has everything. And also, like I said, it's not considered that big, but it's also easy to travel everywhere. Like maybe if you want to go see your friends or go to a certain restaurant, it's not really going to take you that long to get there. There's a lot of different types of transport, like DD, share bikes, but that I'll make a different video for you about. So yeah, come to Kunming in Yunnan. It is absolutely amazing here. Oh, that's spicy. So how can we talk about things that we love and not mention food? In most countries, you guys have your special dish. But in China, really every single city has their own signature dish. And people really travel far here to go experience the different kinds of dishes. Let me tell you something. When I went to South Africa, we are known for loving our bride. And I went home for about two, three months, and I just missed hot pot and barbecue so much, which I will never tell my family though. But yeah, the food here is amazing. Obviously, food is very spicy, but you always have options to say, oh, it's not spicy. And also, foreigners are kind of known to not like spicy food, so usually when you are a foreigner and you eat at a spicy place, they'll probably just not make it that spicy for you anyway. But yeah, the food here really is amazing and it's definitely something that keeps me here. Also, when I came to China, maybe the first year, I ate McDonald's three to four times a week. And I was like, I'm never gonna get used to the food. And slowly, slowly, I just started trying things. And I don't think I've eaten McDee's or actually any fast foods in over four months now. Like cheat meals, Chinese have cheat meals, just a lot healthier. And also you start to crave their food. So just look at this. Oh, that's good. You scan. And we're gonna pay. So this was 80 coin. I'm gonna give you my password. So easy to pay. And also if you pay with cash, you're gonna look a little bit weird. So make sure you have WeChat pay. Culture. China serves as home to 56 different ethnic groups. I don't fully understand it all because there are so many traditions and festivals. And this makes the traveling even more interesting because you get to see how these people live. They stand very firm in their culture and they are very proud of it. So for me, living here, 
learning about it, it makes me feel a part of it. I think next on the list has to be convenience. When my parents or family usually ask me why I like China so much, I think that's always my first answer. It's because it's very convenient. You don't have to go to the supermarket. When you want food, you don't have to go somewhere. And I think around the world, the experience that I've had, when you order food, the healthier the more expensive, right? But here in China, it's not that way. Like I'm going to show you now on May 1 exactly how easy it is to order things, water, food, stuff like medicine or flowers, for example, your share bikes, your DDs, your type of transportation. If I walk out of my community right now, left, right in front of me, there's going to be share bikes, 10, 12 of them standing next to each other. If you don't like to take share bikes or you can't ride a bike, you have DD. You can order the DD right here in your house and then go downstairs and it will be waiting for you. Transportation is very, very convenient. Okay, so here we are in front of the community. My building is right here. The gate where I come out is just here. So actually every single community will always have like a convenience store where you can buy drinks or snacks or shampoos, actually like a small supermarket, which is amazing. Then also close to each community, you have like a pharmacy. My pharmacy is right there. So that's also really nice. Uh, there's a huge vegetable market right in that building there. At night, there are so many stands here, like here's vegetables and fruits. Yeah. If you are feeling lazy and you don't want to leave the house, I'm going to show you a couple of options of how you can maybe order food and live like a king or queen. So here we got food. You can go to your local supermarket on here and maybe just get some snacks and some colas. Then you can also get medicine if you're maybe sick. They can bring it right to your door. If you're feeling hungry, you got different options, also Western options like DQ, McD's. And here they tell you how long it would take and it's very accurate. Then you got your DD. If you maybe have to go somewhere, you just order your DD. And then once it arrives, you just go downstairs and it's like a personal pickup. So you feel kind of cool. The next reason has to be the language. Chinese is a very interesting language. Right now, I am busy studying Chinese. Definitely have a love for this language. I don't know if you know, but in Chinese, they have four different sounds. And each sound with a word has a different meaning. Ma, 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 ma. Again. Ma, 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 ma. So I'm not going to lie, you have to be very careful sometimes with your sentence, what you say, because, yeah, the word can sometimes mean something completely different. You don't really have to understand Chinese, even if you want to learn it or not. Definitely your daily talk and when you order food, that Chinese you're going to pick up on very quickly. And also a translator will be more than okay. So just went grocery shopping. So next on the list will be money. So come have a look here. I went to Metro, which is kind of a luxury here. So I got me some chicken breast, some coconut milk, some yogurt, wraps, Nutella, muesli. I really actually bought a lot for you. And it was only like 188.5. I've actually thought about it for a few days now and there's nothing I can really think of that is that expensive in China. Maybe massages, which I don't really understand why massages are so expensive. It's around like 300 RMB for an hour. So I don't really get why massages are expensive. But like my apartment is like 2,200 a month. I made a video about that. Uh, gas. Gas is ridiculous. Um, what else is there? There's your water, your daily expenses. The, I think the vegetable markets and the fruits here, I think that's what blow my mind the most because it's so cheap. So money is definitely a big thing because also foreigners get paid quite a lot here in China. So 
it's easy for you to save at least three quarters of your salary and you still live like an absolute king or queen. is enormous none of the places here are the same as you know china had very strict COVID restrictions so i was stuck here for like two years but it did feel like i was on a trip somewhere i mean we didn't have to work we still got paid and we could travel all over i got to meet so many people see so many places and that time really kind of forced me to see all of china and i couldn't be happier China is definitely a place you could travel for months if you had the opportunity to. It is very safe to travel alone. And always when you travel, you'll always meet some foreigners as China is becoming pretty popular for foreigners to come to. Next has to be work. Wow, foreigners got it good in China. Chinese care a lot about being in a foreign English environment, so speaking to a foreign teacher, not just learning English from a Chinese who can speak English. So that is why we as teachers, as foreign teachers, are valued so high. The pressure is 0%. I'm not even joking. Like usually you would go to work, some schools that I've been at, they give you your lesson plans, they give you your flashcards, everything is ready, you just have to go teach. There's no parents really that bring pressure, there are no tests that bring pressure. And in every single school that I've taught in, there's always a Chinese staff in your classroom, a staff member that helps you handle the kids, so you really just have to teach. So I think work, coming here and, you know, people, friends and my parents being in my country and, you know, working under that am amount of pressure and working those long hours and for what they're getting paid, I feel so fortunate to come here. And that is why I think so many more foreigners are coming to China and why I won't leave China very soon. Oh, let's get to safety. So for me, being from South Africa, <laughs> well, it's not just the robbers, but also animals, especially if you're from a small town like I am. The other day, my dad was going to work and he just found a hyena running in the road. <laughs> so, yeah, coming to China and walking around at night, it honestly has been heaven. And I think also actually health benefits, like, Every time after we eat, I always go for a walk because, again, the city I live in, Kunming, it is amazing. At night, the breeze really cools you down. And it's just nice to walk and there are so many markets everywhere. So safety is definitely up there. Like China is definitely one of the safest countries I've ever been to. And being able to live here, I feel so blessed and so lucky.